Hello everyone and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do networking in C and C++ so we are gonna be using TCP for this and also you can connect to the server from anywhere but you will need to forward your port from Wi-Fi settings and um, you have to figure that out on your own I have notepad opened over here and we will need this three linkers for server and client so this is dash LWS2 underscore 32 and uh, this is uh, LMSWSOC which is for WinSOC and this is LADV API 32 so I will paste this in the description of the video you just have to go ahead and copy this Control C I will close the notepad don't save and then just go to tools compiler options and over here you can see a menu popped up and you can see add the following commands when calling the linker and you will have this one by default and press space and then press control plus v and click on ok so we are done with linkers now we have to include some header files so type hashtag include w s u e c p i p dot h so after that we will include our stream and this file is for the server you can see s dot cpp and c dot cpp which has nothing in it but okay we will type things in it so stream and then include ponyo.h i don't think we will need this but uh, just in case so once you are done with that hit ctrl plus s and then it will save the thing so using namespace scd and then we'll start by defining two things which are the buffer length so hashtag define b u f l e n and this is our buffer length we can set it to 4096 bytes and then we'll define another thing hashtag define we will define our default port so we'll type port and we'll use 27015 and uh, yeah I'll just make it into the string so we don't have to use 27015 but i'm used to it so i'm gonna use it anyway and then let's start our main method int main and um, now type get ch so this will hold the console for us and now the server will reverse the string which the client sends to it so server will accept the client receive the string reverse it and send it back so for reversing the string we will also need algorithm so we will include that and this is our algorithm file so let's go back and over here and you can use reverse function in it for reversing the string so yeah we need to start with um, ws D A T A and I missed A over here W S A data and let's create an object W S A data and then let's create the socket so type socket in caps and let's name it L S listen socket and um, let's set it equal to invalid socket and then we will also create one more socket C S which will be our client socket and set it equal to invalid socket again I'm gonna copy this from here copy it done and then we will need a struct address info so just type in struct a d d r d d r info and um, give it a pointer result and then set it equal to null then we will create one more of the same type let's name it in ts so that's that and let's go to integer variables so we'll create um int i r and then int i s r and then our buffer string and yeah that's great now after that we will create variables according to our need that's the ones which are important so let's start with initializing winsaw so i r equals w s a starter and then we'll type make word two comma two then we'll go with and w s a data variable so this will initialize our winsock and then we can check if any error has been occurred or not so you can directly put this function in the if else if you want but i'm gonna go with old school method so i are not equal to zero and then if it's zero that means an error has been occurred we'll see out error and then 
and line and we will return one so you can return whatever you want but we will return one cause we are not successful so now we are gonna free up memory for our hints variable so just go ahead type zero memory and then once you type in zero memory just press and hints and then we will pass the size of it type size of hints and then we can initialize it hints dot ai underscore family equals af underscore i net and hints dot ai underscore socket type press enter equals to sock underscore stream and then we'll set our protocol hints dot ai protocol equals i p p r o t o proto underscore t c p and then you can use udp2 but we are gonna use tcp over here so let's continue type hints dot a i underscore flags oops i press tab yeah equals a i underscore passy and after that we will resolve the server address and the port so type i r equals get address a d d r in four and um, give it null comma our default port which is c o r t which is defined on top over here if you can see my mouse and then press comma then let's give it our hints variable and then result and after that we will again check our error so f i r not equals to zero then we will just see our error like here we did it but this time we'll also clean up the winsaw so wins wsa clean up and after that we will listen on the socket ls so ls equals socket and then af will be our result points to ar family and press enter comma and type will be our socket type a underscore socket type and then protocol will be our result and a protocol and again we'll check for error so f l s equal equal invalid socket underscore socket then we have encountered an error so we will type or print error but this time we will also close the socket and we will print the error code so close and ls and we will also print the error as promised so i w s a get last error and uh, this will print our error code which has occurred so let's continue now and uh, now we need to bind the socket so we'll go with i r equals bind and uh, let's give it our socket so our socket is ls and then we will pass in result and um, our ai address a d d r in short and then our run so give it a split and then type in internet and result dash adr1 so this will do the trick and will bind the board so let's go f and we'll also check our error so i r equals socket error and then if it does equal to socket error then we'll just give it a error message copy it and paste it and over here also give us space cause then the code and the thing will be merged so over here we will add one more Step which is um, to free the address info so we'll free free a d d r info and then we will give it a result and this will be it for this error and then normally this error don't never occur while testing the thing but uh, they might occur when um, you are connecting from somewhere on the internet to your local machine or on a different machine simply then it will just be helpful by a lot so now we will free the this variable from the and paste over here so we are done with this result and now we will listen for inbound connection so ir equal listen and then we'll give it our ls and 
backlog is gonna be so max fun and then we will check for errors wait a minute we can just copy this thing from there and that will be okay buttons just remove this thing and then we continue to accept the connections so let's go ahead and do that so this is where our client socket will come in handy which is cs and we'll type cs equals accept and we'll give it our ls and then null and null after that we again check for some error if there are any so we'll just copy from this guy boom and um, instead of this we will type cs equals invalid socket so just remove this error and uh, invalid and um, we can continue over here so once we accept then we can close the socket which is listening so we can close it like that and um, now we will listen for any message which is being sent so type ir equals recv and then socket will be cs comma the buffer will be a character array so we can't directly put in our string over there so we have to create a character array and also over here i have misspelled string so that is not correct so we will use char array which is let's see what can we name it buff and then the size will be but then and then we can go back down and uh, use it but before that we will need to use zero memory to empty the space for us so type and buff and uh, we'll use size of buff and um, then we can go ahead and continue so we'll give it and buff comma length will be our buff length which we have defined earlier and the lags will be zero so now we will see how much bytes we have received and that will be stored in ir also we will convert buff into our string so type in f well ir is bigger than zero which means we have rescued things press we will print the thing out afterwards but we'll first print how much stuff we have received so type receive and make sure you give double quotes you can format this in any way you want i'm just gonna format it in this way so it's better to understand i r and and l then we will convert it to string so what was our string name again receive buff and cv buf equals string and buff now we can continue to reverse the string word so we will use the reverse function like reverse and then we'll use receive buff dot begin and in the second parameter we'll use seal buff dot end and this will reverse the string for us and now we can send that string back and um, to send it back we'll use isr equals send and isr will be the amount of bytes we have sent back so that will be great we'll use cs as a socket and then our constant buffer so we'll use receive buff dot c underscore str and then we will give it our length which which is our ir variable because we are just sending the thing back in reverse so that won't cause any problems then we can use if isr equals socket error then we will just copy the stuff from our friends on top over here and paste it in over there and we will also give them an indent and we will release ls with cs and then after that we will see out the send byte so we will format it and i also was planning to print the string that came in so we will pretty quickly print that to see out to see what and line and then we will also print the reverse string so and just copy this and then come out of f over here and then that else if ir equals zero then that means the socket has dropped the connection we will print out closing connection and line 
and we will add some effect dot 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 that's a fact yeah and else if anything else happens we'll go with error thingy so just copy it from over here Control c Control v and also we'll remove the indent and after that we can use shutdown method but um, that's useless cause we are just gonna close the connection anyway so we will use this instead and paste it and um, shutdown method is something that you can use to shut down connection from one way or with both ways while staying connected so i will show a quick demonstration of it so, i r equals shut down and no this won't cause your windows to shut down fcs comma how is the way means from what you have to shut down receive or the send so we will shut down st underscore send and uh, then we can check for errors if i r equal equals socket error then we can print the same things that we printed over here and um, you can use sg underscore both to shut down both ways and you can use sg underscore receive to shut down the receiving end just close this file which got opened and uh, i'm not gonna compile this because it's useless so i'm just gonna comment it and after that we will return zero because we have successfully closed it and um, now to the client part which i unfortunately cannot fit in this video uh okay yeah the part two will be coming soon so we will just compile this code and uh, yeah error so now we have to fix them that's a receive error so yeah here we don't have to use and because we don't need it because it's already a array we don't have to make it a pointer so that was the error and now we are not getting any errors as you can see error zero warning zero now i will test this thing to see if it works so i can use tcp client on my phone or i can use putty and it will help me to test our stuff so we'll just run this and then you can see that the defender firewall has blocked some features of this app and blah 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 so on publisher unknown yeah blah blah blah, blah. So we will just allow the access and press yes to UAC and we will close this again and rerun this cause it might not have hosted it and we don't have such a durable things and by the way this is a blocking receive function which will stop the control till it receives something so that's why it's working right now so let's go to our putty and then we will have the host as localhost or you can type 127.0.0.1 and we will type our port as 27.0.15 and we will change this channel to raw and uh, then we will press on open and uh, yeah this should be connected right now because i'm not sending any welcome message or anything so it's not showing anything so let's type something in a client let's type hi youtube and now when i press enter the thing is that this putty will also send a backslash and with it and that may cause some things to glitch but it's okay because now you can see that the software caused connection about so that's because we are disconnecting the client at the end so before i press ok yeah that's inactive now you can see how youtube has came over there and that's reversed and uh, it is also printing the reverse thing so that's it for today and um, hope you guys have enjoyed the networking video and let me know if you want more networking videos like in java python or other languages so there was it for today's video sorry i was not able to fit the client but that will be surely in the next video and if you want to continue watching then make sure you press the video that's showing up on your screen and also click that subscribe button or press it if you are on phone so bye bye